All right, so I just um, got this chaga from the property this past weekend. Um, and I watched a couple YouTube videos because I was like, I don't know how to clean this or what. So basically, this guy was saying you just start with a, a brush and you just scrub and scrub and scrub. And I know some of it's going to fall off. That's fine. Um, he was also indicating that the birch bark, because this generally grows on birch trees, is also uh, used for medicinal purposes. So he said, um, you know, you can leave it on or take it off. I'm, I'm just trying to rem remove some of the things that are loose, but I think I'm going to leave, just leave most of it on. So, you know, this does grow on a tree outside. Um, so you want, there could be anything living on it. Spiders, there could be spider webs, bugs. So I'm just going to do a good scrub on it. And then uh, what he suggested, he'll take it into chunks, which um, this is going to be used to make chaga tea. So I'm going to make it into smaller chunks. And then he dips them real quick. He'll fill up his sink with hot water and he'll put uh, apple cider vinegar and Himalayan sea salt and give them a quick dip. And then he puts the pieces out to dry. He'll put a fan nearby. Um, the other thing he was saying is if you don't have a fan, just put them in your windowsill um, for, you know, the UV light will help dry them. So the chaga is good for several different, for several steeps for tea. tea. So you can use the chunks. He said a um, piece about as big as your fist is going to be enough for a crock pot. And what he generally does is puts it in the crock pot uh, for about 12 hours, so a little bit longer than overnight. And then, you know, they drink it during the day and then before night fall, before they go to bed, they top off the crock pot again and let it steep again. Uh, just on the warm setting, not on high, not on low. He said just on the warm. So I think that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna just get this cleaned off. Um, it has already been drying on my windowsill, so I don't think I really need to put it out to dry for too long. I didn't know about the step with the ACV and the, the, ACV and the uh, Himalayan sea salt. So this, the gentleman whose video I watch, he's got a couple of spas and uh, I think in Canada and he sounds trustworthy. <laughs> I mean, as many uh, as many people as are out there that you could watch, he just, he sounded like he knew what he was doing. His videos were informative, short and to the point. Um, so anyway, I think this is looking pretty good. Um, he said there's a video out on Facebook, or I'm sorry, on YouTube of somebody taking a knife and getting all of the black off. He's like, somebody please get that guy to take his video down the black part as well as I'll try to get it close. There's black and like a gold amber color. Um, he's like, both of those are important and have medicinal value. So anywho, um, you know, he's like, don't scrape that off. So I think, I think it looks pretty good. There's a couple little crevices I'm trying to get down into. He had a bigger brush, but this is all I have is my, um, I have a unused toothbrush that I had upstairs. So I'm just making do with what I've got. I've never tried it. I have zero idea what it tastes like. Um, we do have several trees. I mean, a lot of trees actually that have the chaga on it. And I'm excited because if this is something that tastes good and has as much medicinal value as everybody claims it does, then I should be set for a while and I should have enough to share with my friends. So I'm going to attempt to um, cut this up a little bit into smaller pieces and I'm going to try to splice this video into one. So I'll, uh, I'll do that and then check in again. Okay, so I have no idea what size knife I should be using and I don't even know how hard this is going to be to cut into since it has been drying. May the good Lord save me from a hospital trip. If anybody who's watching this video knows me, they know this is a little dangerous for me. 
Holy moly. I need a hatchet. It's it's like really tough to get off the tree. Most people use um, a hatchet or even somebody suggested a sawzall. So I wish I had something a little sharper. I got some working better. Mm-mm-mm. Let me think about this here. I'm wondering if a serrated knife would be better. Or a freaking hatchet. I don't know. Yeah, let's see. I do have a serrated knife in here. I wonder if that might work better. Oh, other side would be good, Kath. Oh my goodness. This is going to take all night. So, I think I'm going to have to find some Alan's tools, quite honestly, <laughs> to do this. Oh, yeah, it's like a rock. Probably like a pair of uh, nips might, might work. Make some of this I can get off. So, most people do the size of like, I don't know, like, you know, the diameter of a quarter, but a little chunk. Um, yeah, there's no way I'm getting this off like this. So I'm going to have to see if he's got something that I can use. Some of them I can break off and that's fine. And you can see the color here, like the amber coming through. So maybe I'll just use my girl muscles. That might just work better. Try to get some of it apart. There. That's not too bad. Um, I haven't read a whole bunch about it, honestly, but I know it's got like, cancer-fighting properties, um, anti-inflammatory properties, like basically anything good you can think of, this stuff has it. Um, so we're just super blessed that we've got access to it um, on our property. We, so think yeah I think I'll be able to get it down in enough pieces by hand at least to get a crock pot going tonight so said so the size a piece about the size of your fist so I'm thinking all those together once they're dipped in the apple cider vinegar and Himalayan sea salt and then dried um real night because or overnight it's not they're not like soaking in there it's just like a quick dip to sort of act like antifungal and antibacterial wash so anyway um that's that and then i'll post a video once i get it going in the crock pot and then uh it steeps to like a really beautiful dark dark kind of amber um brownish color so i will check in once i figure out how to get um the rest of this chopped up <laughs> to visit my husband's toolbox